Now, some of you guys are saying, well, I'm not that crazy. Yes, you are. You just don't know. You just don't know because you've been traumatized since, since you were three or seven. And so you don't even know who you are outside of the trauma. You think that you're just a mean, defensive person. Are you, though? You think that you're just shy. Are you, though? Blessings and blessings from Byron Bay, Australia. Ooh, ooh. Today's transmission is the three ways to rewire your brain after experiencing trauma. And I want to start by saying that every single human that is on this planet has experienced some form of trauma. There are two different versions of trauma. There's shock trauma, which is like getting into a car accident, going to war, having an invasive pap smear, birth. People experience trauma from birth, giving birth. There's many forms of it. I'm gonna tell a little story. And this is a funny story, but it's also not funny. And I realize that this is also comes from a trauma. And so uh, FYI, a trauma is anything or any situation you've ever been in that you have experienced yourself as helpless, which means everybody has been through a trauma, something, if not 68 of them. So my mom, my mom is, is an amazing queen. She's a powerhouse. She was born in LA in Watts at a time where my grandmother didn't have much money. And my mom experienced and saw some things happen in her life, like her brother being shot in the face and dying and things like that, that created a conversation about life. One of which was, you know, beautiful because she said that my kids will never have to experience that. So she, she made it her business to get herself out of what you would call the ghetto. Now, <laughs> my mom moved us from Compton to Harbor City, which is like a Dennis the Menace sort of middle class neighborhood that was primarily, uh, I'd say African American and Filipino and other ethnicities. And my mom had this thing about alarm system. She would have all these alarms. And I swear to God, every year, that the news reported more and more kidnappings and break-ins and stuff like that, she'd get more expensive alarms, like more just crazy ass alarms, right? And these alarms got so elaborate that at certain times she would put it on and I would get up to go to the bathroom. And I'm talking about later on, this is me in college, I'd come back home. I'd get up to go to the bathroom or something and the freaking alarm would like make a sound and alert her that <laughs> that some movement was happening in the house. And to this day, right now, she has an alarm inside of her doorbell. So even if she's not home, she can see, she has like cameras and all that stuff, right? So I'm sharing this story because uh, you guys are asking like, what does this have to do with brain and all that stuff? Well, the brain has a mechanism in it called the amygdala. And the amygdala is like a fire alarm in the brain that says you are not safe. When that alarm goes off, we go into certain states. The fight, flight, freeze. This is the thing that has helped and saved our species, right? Because that amygdala goes off, we hear a little ch -ch -ch in the bushes, and then we, it goes off and it says run, and you run fast, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, a saber-toothed tiger comes out and tries to kill you, right? Or jumps on you, and then, and then you gotta fight it. So, my mom's alarms got so sophisticated that even the slightest movement, something would be tipped off. And those of us, meaning you, me, and everyone, who've experienced certain traumas also have alarms that go off inside of us. And sometimes those alarms are triggered when they're not supposed to be. Why? Because the brain has now been rewired to be hyper vigilant to make sure that it doesn't happen again. And so what am I saying here? I'm saying that a lot of us have been so traumatized that we don't even know that uh, that alarm system is firing off and causing us to be defensive, causing us to uh, attack people, causing us to freeze and be paralyzed. Statistically, once a woman has been raped, the likelihood of that happening again goes up really high. That's not per chance. So there are three ways to rewire the brain after one has been traumatized. The work that Alexi and I do is about this. So the bridge experience, what we do in the bridge is about rewiring the brain and creating space for people to live as the truth of who they are outside of the traumas that have rewired 
their nervous system. It literally blocks parts out of your freaking brain so that you cannot function. So first way to rewire the nervous system, uh, not the nervous system, the brain, which also rewires the nervous system, is what they call the top-down approach. The top-down approach is where we talk it out. You go see a therapist, you go somewhere safe, you talk about the traumas, you keep talking about them, they lose their charge, right? We reconfigure it. Second way is drugs, right? As much as I, I like to hate on um, <laughs> the pharmaceutical companies and, and how I believe they're preying on our society, some of the drugs that they have help block that alarm. And in blocking that alarm, the human gets to rewire and get, gets to uh, be more functional in society. Now, some of you guys are saying, well, I'm not that crazy. Yes, you are. You just don't know. You just don't know because you've been traumatized since, since you were three or seven. And so you don't even know who you are outside of the trauma. You think that you're just a mean, defensive person. Are you though? You think that you're just shy. Are you though? Or were you molested or raped or beaten or told children are uh, better to be seen than heard so many times that you no longer identify as the powerhouse that you are. Number three, this is the work we do. Third way to rewire the brain is through uh, somatic embodiment work. This is where one would go into a workshop or go see a therapist that does this type of work. There are many different forms and, uh, of it. Alexi and I specialize in our own, which we freaking made up by putting together some of the other ones that we have uh, experienced. And we've been doing this for years and years and years. This is not a game to us. We know exactly what we're doing. And it's, it, it's a very precious and a beautiful thing and a gift to be able to help people come back into their bodies. Like really, we, we, we know now in science, we know this is not hypothesis. This is a fact that the body stores all traumas. It remembers in the cells of your being. And so some people who experience cancer and other um, diseases think that it's just genetic. No, you stressed the same and had nine out of 10 the same traumas that your parents did and so you got the same diseases. Is this resonating? Is this landing? Do you guys following what I'm saying here? So the work that Alexi and I do is around this. The work that we do is around helping people with really number one and number three. Number two, we can't, we, clearly we can't just prescribe people drugs, right? And ideally you don't wanna take any drugs. Ideally you wanna be able to free yourself in, from the inside out. There's something called neuroplasticity and that basically is like snow on a mountain, right? So if you were snowboarding down a mountain, if you take the same trail over and over and over again, that trail, that path is really worn in. And so a lot of you, a lot of us have been taking the same trail for, our, for 30 years. And what we begin to do when we work with people like Alexi and I and the Bridge Experience and whatever else you choose to do, there's EMDR, EMDR, there's all kinds of work, right? Peter Levine is one of the you know, people who does an amazing job at this. Um, what happens is when you do work with people like myself and Alexi and, and other people, what happens is, is that you you create space and space equals what? What does space equal? What can we do with space? Infinite possibilities, yes, bingo, right? That's, that's the game, that's the work. So I wanted to break that down, drop it in here. If you can get to the bridge, we're going, we'll be in Gold Coast this weekend, we'll be in Brisbane. The following weekend, we'll be in LA in January. If you can get into one of our workshops, no freaking joke. And you'll see some of these comments, people who've done them before will tell you, this is not a game. It's not easy. It's, a, it's fun a little bit, but it's deep in work. But if you want to free yourself, come, come play with us. Love and light. Appreciate you all. That's how you reprogram the brain and turn that alarm system off so it's not so damn sensitive. Blissings and blessings.